Hi, my name is Kathy, and I just want to show you going through the first chapter of Ken Mayer's uh, Debase Reports book, second edition. Um, in there, he has a lot of detail, uh, more detail even in the chapter one, and then, of course, uh, a lot more information on how to create the reports and do a lot more complex things with them. Um, but I just want to go through basically uh, the steps that he gave us to create the report in Chapter 1. So I'm going to go here uh, in the Navigator and under Reports tab, I'm going to double click to start a new report. And I'm going to go right into the Designer. The first thing you'll notice is the design surface. Uh, of course, we have the page template, the header band, the detail band, and the footer band. Uh, you can see here I am in the inspector, and whenever I click on any element, you can see any of its properties, events, and methods. Now, just to quickly show you, uh, this is a, a part of the reports book, but uh, to refamiliarize with with you with this if you're not familiar with it. Um, any of these palettes here you can click and drag. You can anchor them to the left or to the right. Um, you can have them floating. I'm just showing this to you quickly so that um, if it looks different to you on your computer uh, then you'll know why. This is just how I have it set up. Alright so the first thing I want to do is I want to go into the component palette and if you don't see your component palette anywhere uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it. You just right click on the design surface and choose the palette you want to have open. Uh, so here I have my component palette. And the first thing we do is we add the title uh, to our report. So we go under the standard tab on the component palette and I'm going to use a text object. So you can just click on it and then move the mouse over and click again to drop it. Now to go inside that text object and change it, um, you just double click and we're going to change this text to be my fish report and I'm also going to widen that out okay I'm also going to leave that up open a little bit I'm going to change the font size uh, of our title so I'll go into the inspector for its properties I'm highlighted on the text object so I'm going to go down here and set its font size to 14. Okay, I'm also going to go in here. If you click and then click again, um, you can uh, format inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and center that. And then I'm going to click one time on the object, not inside to edit the text, but on the object itself, and go up to the Layout menu, Align, and I'm going to oops, lay out a line and then center horizontally in window. And I'm also going to go ahead and just use my arrow to move that up. I want that at the top. Okay, and you can click on any of these handles and widen or shorten or, or you know, reformat your text object. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save the report. Okay, and I'm just going to save this as my fish report. Okay, um, it's a good thing to save periodically with anything that you do, uh, in particular when you're designing anything, uh, as you're moving back and forth between elements and changing properties or adding events. Um, you know, a lot of stuff gets accumulated in memory and stuff like that. So it's a good thing to always uh, periodically save your reports. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another text uh, control. And it's going to be our date text. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab another text object. And I'm going to put that right underneath. And... I'm going to go over here to the inspector okay, and find its text property. I'm going to click on this code block. Get that to highlight. This is our code block button. The button to choose to do a code block. Go ahead and choose code block. That automatically puts some text in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the wrench. 
and I'm going to change that to oh, uh, date colon end quote and then plus and then do date open close parentheses. Um, this date is a function in DBase that just returns to you the current date. So I'll say OK. I'll widen that out again. OK, and move it over. Now I want this uh, centered again, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to the layout, align, and oops, center horizontally. So that's our title and a quick date. Um, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and save the report again. I'm just going to do Alt-F-S to save. Alright, now we're going to add um, something using one of our report controls. Uh, when you install DBase, we include several different uh, control files or uh, custom control files. Our report controls are found, uh, just to show you quickly, under Properties, Desktop Properties. We have these source aliases, which are called pointers. Uh, what They're called source aliases. They're pointers to uh, directories where we keep certain files. And one of them that we have here are report controls. And you'll see that uh, what directory this is pointing to. So if I just copy that, just to show you real quick, and then go here and then paste, you can see where these uh, re report controls are. Now we're going to use that report CC uh, report control. If you don't see, you go to the component palette and any custom controls um, will be added here. Right now I don't see it, it's not in there. Uh, so what we do is we go into the command window of DBase and we just go ahead and say set Procedure 2, and then use a colon. This means we're going to be uh, using that source alias uh, from before. Report controls, I hit enter. Uh, and you have, a, have to have a colon to end the source alias name. And then report.cc, enter. And that'll put that in memory. So when we go back here to the report in the designer, we can now see that it added this paging. Uh, tab. So I'm going to go ahead and add the page number and I'm just going to drag that over. Uh, you'll notice it moves down a little bit. You might have to widen that out to see it. And whoops, I don't want it that wide. Okay, I'm just going to go up here. Actually, I'm going to put the page number on the bottom. So I'm just going to move it all the way down to the bottom part of the page and shorten it up a little bit and go ahead and center it okay and we're just going to go ahead and leave that there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some data uh, from our fish table so I'm going to go up to the top here and in the navigator we're going to go to the Tables tab, and I already have it there, but um, we're going to use one of the DBase Samples tables. So find DBase Samples in your database list. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the design of the fish table, and we're just going to set a uh, ascending index on the name field. Okay, move off of there, and then close and save. Then I'm going to go ahead and in the field palette, after I add the fish table to the report design, you can just click and drag and that gets there. We're going to move these up here just so if we need to use those components in the inspector, we can get to their properties. Okay, so in the field palette now, since we've added uh, that table, it automatically creates a database object and a query object, and the field palette populates uh, the fields that are available. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the name, and we're going to add, uh, what do we want to add next? We're going to go ahead and add the uh, name and the species, I believe, and the length CM. 
Uh, now one of the things you'll notice is, um, and we can go ahead and click on these two and use the uh, small arrow to move them up and down. Line them up. So that's what I'm going to do here. And we can do the same thing with the details. Now you'll notice as I'm doing this, you'll notice um, that the titles for each of these fields uh, seems to get repeated with every row. Um, that doesn't happen when you run it. In fact, we'll go ahead and run it, which will force us to save it. And you'll see here that it'll run without uh, repeating that title with something we're fixing. Okay, and the other thing here is we want to go ahead and use that in the inspector. Uh, we're going to click on our fish query. And we're going to go into the row set. And we're going to change, uh, set its index to the name property so that it's all ordered by the name. Uh, and you'll see it does that here in the designer too before you run it. Um, so that's it. That's a basic report. We can go up here and run the report. Um, it runs automatically in a report viewer. You can print it by doing um, control F to print, or actually, pardon, control P to print, and that'll bring up your uh, print dialog. Another quick thing though is you can also have it print automatically by setting the report's um, output property. Um, in the report itself, I'm going to go into the designer and if we go into uh, the output property you'll see there's default which is this report viewer or you can have it automatically go to a printer. Now we can do this for the report itself or we can create a quick app uh, that does that using the components in this report. Um, in Ken's book, he finishes up with this in chapter one, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to go in here, we're going to say uh, set procedure to my fish report. Oops, REP. And then R, start the new uh, my fish report. Um, we're going to set it, before we actually render it, we're going to set its output to one. And we're going to uh, have it choose the printer. And then we render it. So I'm going to close. And I'm just going to save this as run report. Okay, so that's a little PRG. And if I go ahead and run it, uh, it automatically doesn't go into the print preview. It just automatically goes to your print dialog. I hope this was helpful. Uh, Ken Mayer's book is uh, a wonderful way to get into a lot of the details of, uh, of the reporting engine in DBase. Uh, and, of course, this is just Chapter 1. And uh, thank you.